Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Digimon Hacker's Memory. In the last episode, we got our first Ultramon. I believe Ultra? Oracle. Yeah, Ultimate. Sorry, Ultimate uh, Digimon. I'm still getting used to all that. She's flippin' awesome. I love her design, and she's a healer. All of her skills are very healer and white magic based. I've also renamed this mon Freebird after the Leonard Skinner song, and that mon will eventually stay on the free path. We're gonna try to get him up. Um, he, he needs to evolve into something. Stingmon? No. This one's gonna stick to the vaccine. Wait, what am I even doing anymore? Um, no, yeah, I do want him to evolve to... He'll, he'll just stick to the free path once he evolves past his current thing. Yeah, right? That's what I think I was doing. Anyway, we're going to keep doing missions now, and I'll worry about evolving crap later. Um, so our next mission is Legendary Digimon. Find my dream chief and learn the secret of how to obtain that glorious shining body. Is the chief golden? That would be awesome, right? Platinum is better, though. I don't know what the hell they're talking about, but let's do this mission anyway. Anything about a legendary Digimon sends up my alley. The client is Solarmon. I'll contact it and ask for details on the case. There's calling up a Digimon. Hello! Are you the one who solves Digimon's problems? Blah, 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 blah. I'm not a counselor, but you will listen to my problem, right? I'm Solarmon. Pleased to meet you. Ah! I work in security for a financial institution server. I want you to investigate the head of security's secret. Blah, 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 blah? No, I'm not trying to dig up dirt on my boss or anything like that. Quite the opposite. I look up to my boss, Gardamon Gold. Particularly his shiny gold body. It's in his name. Just thinking about it makes me breathless. Not just because I don't have any lungs. I wish I had a cool body like that. Oh, I'm starting to feel faint. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'll get to the point. I want you to investigate the secret of Gardramon Gold's but Am I recording? I am recording. Okay. I must know how I can get such a magnificent body for myself. Blah, 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 blah. Why don't I just ask him? I couldn't just go up and ask something like that. Gardramon Gold is the big boss. Everyone looks up to him. I'm just a nobody. I get nervous. Don't make him cute. I get nervous just making reports to him for work. There's no way I could bring myself to ask something like this. Ah. Huh? A case is a case? Does that mean you'll do it? Uh huh? Yay! I'll send you the location of the server where he is. Good luck. I assume this means I'm going to have to fight him. Oh, here we ju we're just here in the financial institution server. Okay, and a level three firewall. Hey, over here, stop. Blah. Ah, the firewall, it's really strong. The server was hacked a little while ago. Security was stepped up after that. Huh. it might be a little difficult to get in. I'm used to coming and going as I please. Sorry, I forgot to mention it. Burm. Burm. You can handle it? That's a relief. Wait, is he? Oh, so I bet. So this is probably a gateway anyway to make sure I have the right power of Pokemon. I mean, Digimon. Um, oh yeah, apparently I can just do it though. Um, I, I Even though I know I can do it, I want to see what the requirement was for that. Four or more Digimon which are champion or better. So that'd be Face Puncher, Oracle, Wraith, and I guess Siwo? No. Talon? Yeah, Talon's a champ. Okay. All right, well, whatever. Let's crack this wall. Oh, there he is. He's peeking through the wall. That's cute. Wow, you hackers never cease to amaze me. But inviting a hacker to the server I'm supposed to protect? I can't help but feel a little guilty. Blah, 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 blah. Where's Gardramon? Hmm, he should be here. But he's always moving around the server to monitor security. Just walk around and you'll run into him soon enough. Huh? You don't have that kind of time. You're right. It would be a disaster if any outsider was discovered in the server. Uh -huh. New security systems being tested on the server. One that you've hacked already, because I see that box over there is empty. 
There should be a short time lag before the administer is notified. Administrator. So this is the best chance you have for moving around in the server. Although... Hmm... Blah, 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 blah. Eh? Lure Gardramon to come to you. Do you think you can do it? Uh -huh. So, what? So after sneaking in undetected, you're just gonna let him know you're here? That sounds dangerous. <laughs> Whistle face. The alarm! The security guards will be here soon! Oh, one of those things. I forgot what a Gardamon was. I don't particularly care for his design. Like, it's interesting. I just don't like him personally. You know what I mean? Intruder, who are you? Ah, wow, Gardramon Gold is really here. Huh, Solarmon, did you arrive before me? Um, I, um... Blah! What? You mean to say you deliberately attacked the server in order to lure me here? Blah, 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 blah. You have a reason. Must be something malicious. Blah, 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 blah. Now come quietly, intruder. Duh! Just... Okay, just three on one. I shouldn't have too much of a problem. He's a free type, so we just hit him with as much as we've got. Let's do the 10% drop first so we know how many hit points he has. 1,310. Okay, that's not anything too scary unless he's got a ton of defense. Uh... I don't like the fact I've lost my fixed damage attack, but it's okay. I think I've got enough to make up for, especially since now I have a heal all, apparently. Let's see how good Celestial Arrow is, especially since it apparently never misses. Oh, that's better than a fixed damage anyway, and she's only level one. Hell yeah. She's just going to get stronger and stronger. All right, we're just going to keep this up then. So, I forget what electric type is weak against. I want to say it's earth, or is it wind? I always... Earth makes more sense to me, but if I remember right, in this game, it's... Or it's wind that lightning. I don't flippin' remember. It doesn't matter. We're just gonna keep beating the piss out of him. He clearly doesn't have that much to go with. Wow, that's the best you've got? Okay, yeah, this is not going to be a very long fight. Nice, 183. Uh, Face Puncher is ironically doing the least amount of damage. Oracle's just gonna get a massive amount of experience after this and just going to get even stronger. I love her. Magic attack, 100 light damage to foe, always hits, undoes base stat boosts on target. It's a bit expensive, but SP just doesn't mean as much as I thought it did. Oh, you're so fucking cool. There's the thumbnail. And now she's level six and is even stronger. And Freebird is level seven. Good deal. So you lured me here to defeat me. A cunning ploy indeed. No, that's not it. He's not an intruder. What do you mean? Do you know this person? Well, I, uh... Blah, 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 blah. Huh? You came to ask me something. So you break into this server and cause all this commotion just to ask me a question? That seems inefficient and stupid. I know. All humans are like that. All humans are inefficient and stupid. If you're genuinely sorry, then I don't want to take things any further. But what is it that you were willing to risk capture just to ask me? Blah, 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 blah. You want to know the secret of my golden body? Why would a human want to know such a thing? Hmm. I see. So Solarman hired you to ask me. I'm sorry, I wasn't brave enough to ask you directly. So I hired this human to do it. I really look up to you. I, I want a magnificent golden body just like yours. So you wanted to know how to get a golden body? That's right. Sorry to disappoint you, but there is no secret. Huh? Not at all. I used to be a Solarmon, just like you. I simply worked hard as a security guard, and one day I digivolved into my current form. So I just need to work hard? So it's a digiv- uh, Yeah, it's a digivolution form. Digivolution? Exactly. Digimon look diff very different after they digivolve. That's how I went from being a Solarmon to what I am now. Uh-huh. It's no secret. There's no need to thank me. But I can't believe I lost to a human. I still have some way to go as a head of security. 
If you were a real intruder, we would be in serious trouble right now. Like, Pyro's spine is in trouble because he's sitting weird. Am I still centered to the camera? I am still centered to the camera. I must reevaluate my abilities and apply myself to make sure I'm up to the job. Wow, so instead of punishing us, you're disciplining yourself. You're so cool. What a tremendous waste of my time. But I better get a good reward out of it. Thanks for talking to Guard... Gardomon Gold for me. Gardromon Gold for me. He talks to me all the time now, even though it's been five seconds. We're computer programs. I'm working much harder than before, and Gardromon Gold is being so supportive. Being supported by someone I admire so much is like a dream. Blah, 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 blah. He said I should be able to digivolve like him if I keep up all the hard work. God, why am I sitting weird? Oh, my spine. I'd given up hope of ever being like him. But knowing that he used to be a Solarmon just like me is really encouraging. Uh-huh! He doesn't just look impressive. He's so wise, too. I want to be just like him. And I know that if I work hard enough, I'll have the same magnificent golden body one day. Thanks to you, my days are filled with hope again. Once I get my cool new golden body, I'll be sure to visit you and show it off. All right. Uh, great. Uh, quiz time. Sunflowers was painted by what Dutch post-impressionist painter? Didn't we do this question already? Wasn't it Picasso? I don't friggin' remember. All right. Although Sunflowers sounds like it's a Van Gogh painting. But anyway, let's turn this in. And it looks like we're right at 12 minutes. Let's take a quick ad break, and then we'll take the next important mission. And we're back. Actually, before doing a mission, we've got some evolutions to do. Hey, there's a Gardramon himself. But let's take this one that we haven't seen before. Um, just trying to trying to get ourselves some some stuff, man. That's all we're doing here. Bah! He's kind of cool. Um, anyone else in Island 1 capped? Yes, Drachmon is capped. Um, well, yeah, let's go with Sangloopmon, because even though we see it, we haven't owned a Sangloopmon yet, so that works for me. We'll see what that looks like. I don't remember fighting one, but at this point we fought so many Digimon, and I've been recording for so long. Oh, that one! The blind puppy. Okay. Okay, what about Farm Island 2? Anyone capped? Nobody is capped. Okay, great. So, what was I gonna do with... Uh, I've already forgotten what I was gonna do with with my Talon. Um, with Freebird. Oh, that's right! I was gonna make him the XV-mon, and then change him again to whatever the one after that is. So I'm going to have to get Freebird to 25 cam, but he's hanging out with me. And I'm also going to have to get Talon to 100 cam, and he's hanging out with me. So that's fine. And then Oracle is just going to eventually be something really fucking strong, but we're not anywhere close to that yet. What is Oracle's cap? 94? Holy shit. Okay. Um... All right. So yeah, and for anyone wondering, I'm never going to evolve Face Puncher. Like, I might evolve Face Puncher long enough to raise his level cap and then devolve him back to, fa to, to being a Face Puncher. Actually, I should do that. Just so we start working on some of these, um, whatchamahoozits. So, the, uh, did field guide, Pokedex, whatever. So we're gonna evolve him now to this. Um... I shouldn't have skipped that. That's a fucking... He's got the tag team championship belt around his neck. All right, so then we're going to re-evolve him or de-evolve him. Back down to Togemon. Even though I lose raw levels for that, his cap is 72. Um, he still has all his moves. Good deal. Okay, so then he can evolve again at level 30, give, if his intelligence and speed are, are high enough. Or at level 26, if his HP attack and intelligence are high enough. All right, that's fine. Um, and even though he's level one, he can remain in the team as is, um, as the captain. I think we'll be fine. All right, so we have three important missions now to do from the BBS, I believe. And...
and let's see that real quick. Oh, I'm gonna make one more adjustment. Um, back to the Digilab. I'm going to move everybody who is not cam dep- like, oh, thanks? Did you investigate? No. Okay. So, we're gonna change this. We're gonna change Farm Island 2 back to doing the intense training. Um, but we're just gonna move the Mon who I want to be friends with out of it. So, we're gonna say Tough Course, and then we're gonna do some Mon swapping. Um, so, let's see. So, anyone I kinda want to like, like Nisimon, we're gonna move Nisimon to Farm Island 1. Um, basically anyone who's named, we're gonna move to Farm Island 1. So, Hip Hop goes to there, um, you can take Saya's place, Mr. Sushi, you can take Sukumon's place, I definitely don't care about being friends with him, Beefcake, you can take Turumon's place, um, Gumdrops, you take Toy Agumon's place, Lydia, Wait, I already have a Lydia, so why did I... What did I... What was I doing? Was Talon gonna be my vaccine mon? Was that what I was doing? Fuck me, man. I don't remember what I'm doing anymore. Okay, and you can take Dora Gumon's place. Okay, how's that? So everyone on Island 2, I don't give a shit about their cam. So we'll just keep hammering them with abilities, and then... See, this is, this is exactly why I was trying to rename everyone in the last episode, because I don't remember my plan now um, with what I'm doing. I'm just going to wing it. I basically want a high-level Freemon, so that I guess could be Freebird, and then, yeah, I'll do it that way. And then, so we're going to re-evolve Lydia back down to Falcomon. And then you're gonna be the vaccine one, right? Lydia can be vaccine, Freebird can be a Freemon. That's how I'll do it. Lydia will be my white mage. Okay. Holy crap! Now that I've- does someone remind me in the comments that that's the plan. Lydia is, stays a vaccine, Freebird sticks with being free, and Talon is a bug forever, and Siwo still needs a name. That's the plan. I figure this shit out. Okay, we don't need to recover, let's go do a mission now. I'm gonna friggin' tag that entire blathering. Why the fuck am I leaning weird? I'm gonna tag that entire thing as Pyro gets his shit together. And then we can figure out what we're doing from there. Okay, who are- what am I doing? Thief who doesn't steal- let's go with easy to hardest. We'll just go from the top down. Mr. Nabbit. Find Mr. Nabbit, the mysterious person appearing in Ikebukuro from the rumor. City legend, what's that? Is it an imitation of Mr. Nabbit? Okay, we need to go to Ikebukuro. That's what we're doing right now. I'm also gonna- okay, never mind. Rumors of Mr. Nabbit? I've never heard of them. Is he different from Eden's Mr. Nabbit? And the client's nickname is Vice President of the Golden Dawn. This case is a complete mystery. Why the flip with my spine? Ugh. But I've been asked to find Mr. Nabbit, so I'm, I'll start by collecting information about him. Seems he's appeared around here, so I'll ask around. We got keyword Mr. Nabbit. Oh, right, the keyword system. It's been a while since we've done that. I want to see if there's the attack boost yet that she sells. I mean, other than attachment E. I want attachment D. I don't, whatever. Has it- has, is there a system where I can get more items by, like, combining items or some shit? I don't know how it works. I mean, I guess I can hit up every shop I see. I saw that dude with the log. I'll, I'll talk to them in a second. Is there any other shop here? I guess not. I thought there was one in front of the aquarium or something. Alright. Oh, hello there. Do you want to ask me something? Mr. Navit. He's something of an urban legend. I've never seen him around here. All right, thanks for the intel. Hey, Catmaid, we've got a brand new game and you can try it out free of charge. Nope. Mr. Nabbit, I've been working here since this morning, but I haven't seen him. 
Oh, as in you've been here all day. Got it. For a minute I thought she's like, I just started working here today. Alright. So this... So sh stores are always marked on the map, right? Like... Right? Oh no, there is something else here. Um... Okay, so this is the aquarium. Oh, right, I forgot about the aquarium. Um, nothing of interest here other than Sexy Girl was there. Oh, there's a gotcha. A metal gotcha. I got a Mon Mon medal. Okay. Someone told me that those are only for collection's sake. So I will not ever worry about going out of my way for them. Yes, what? So many beeps. Farm one, found a case. Oh, okay. Um, well, we're right here. Let's swing in real quick and get the digi farm going again. We want to keep that rolling. Let's see what the case is. Uh, a lost item. Ugh, okay. Um, all right, I'm going to go handle this real quick. All right, I'm back, and there's a cat on me. And the now that my... My camera is mounted to the to a tripod. It's harder to. Oh, I think it's her tail is in the shot. Uh, maybe not. Okay, Nisi. Why? Why, Nisi? I have to play like this until you settle. Nisi, settle down. Lay down, cat. Yeah, I can't do my pyro falcon voice with you, can I? You get upset. You know, lay down. Hmm, what should I have today? Hot or iced? Decisions, decisions. Mr. Nabbit? I've never heard of Mr. Nabbit. Is that a new type of coffee? <laughs> hmm. Alright, nothing there. What, baby? Yes. Know anything that'll go viral on social media? Buddy, I wish. Nisi might. I know, right? That weirdo wearing a Mr. Nabbit head, right? I saw him in front of the cell phone shop. I posted- wait, can I actually, because this is on a tripod, can I- No, that's not gonna help. You can't really see anything like that. Alright. Sorry, everybody, no cat cam for a moment. I need to get a quick release for the tripod. I know, that weirdo miss wearing a Mr. Navit head, right? I saw him in front of the cell phone shop. I posted it online and everyone went crazy for it. Oh. So, he's in front of the cell phone store, which is a conveniently right here. According to the information, Mr. Navit has been sighted around here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think he'll be so easy to find. I hate it. What the? Oh, man. I'm going to have to ask my friend Lena to translate whatever the hell is on my back. If I get her to do that before this episode goes up, I'll put a translation of what that shirt says on the back. There's something here. Uh, it's doing something. It's playing air guitar. The child is mesmerized and terrified all at once. Uh, what is that? I'm scared, mommy. It made him cry. What did you do to my son? She yelled at it. And knelt down. Oh god. I hate it. I hate it so much. Please go away. It looked at me. What the... Oh, oh god. It's coming right at me! It's following me. Why are you narrating all of this? Well, hide it hoodie. That doesn't seem like it'll work. But apparently that's the next stop on our- oh god. Oh god, please leave me alone. Ugh, I hate it. Here at last. It shouldn't follow me inside. Ah! Huh? M -m -m Mr. Navid, is it really him? They say that anyone who sees him gets overcome by fear and joy. Is this really happening? Oh, that's the girl speaking. It looks like it's Mr. Navid, but it's not Mr. Navid. Yeah, it's just like the eyewitness accounts said. 
Oh, these are the four idiots that we talked to a long time ago, right? It's really him. He gives me the creeps. His arms and legs are human. It looks like someone deliberately tried to make a terrible costume. What are you? Why are you here? Hey, May, cut that out. It's just someone dressed in a costume to promote Eden. Let them get on with their job. No, it's not. That's just how it looks. You don't fool me. You're an alien, aren't you? I know it. Show your true form. No, it's a person. There's clearly someone inside. You're wasting your breath, Monica. There's no stopping me when she gets like this. Tagnasula Cosmota! Tagnasulo Cosmota! She's speaking in tongues and I'm scared. Hey, that's the spell for summoning aliens. Cool! Huh? Oh, yeah. In that case... Vina Digas Mandel Cost Kina Vigas Dandel Nost. I can't wait to see how the Google auto captions work with that. Wow, what's that? She's so full of surprises and stupidity. Like this entire quest line. She's making a fool of herself. What's the matter? Are you in a bad mood? Oh, someone's jealous. Huh? Of what? Uh Um Blah, blah, blah. What do you want? Nothing. It's just that your guys are being obnoxious and I want you to go away. Besides, it's gone. Ugh. It's leg clipped through the costume for a second. Ah! No, Mr. Navit! This is the breakthrough we've been waiting for. How could we let it slip through our fingers? Go after it, hurry! Do we have to do any of this? I agree, Pyro, with that face. You go too! No! No! Uh, okay. I don't want to be yelled at anymore. Guess we're going this way. Stop it! I don't feel that way about Kenji. You're always making fun of me, Lily. I'm looking for him. I hear he's been sighted at the shoe store. I didn't even say anything about anyone about anyone. You crazy person. Mr. Navit is fast becoming the latest urban legend in Ike Bukuro. Huh? Who's so easy to see him? Us, of course. I have to get a look at him. I wonder where he is. Looks like there's something strange going on at the arcade. Oh, okay. So that's way in the other... Oh, that arcade. I thought it was the other arcade. Alright, we'll go to this one then. Maybe it's hiding somewhere. I'll ask around and see if there are any witnesses. What? What? Okay, so go in? What am I supposed to do? Uh, I can't... Okay. Oh shoot, the launch day for the latest game in that, se is in that series I like. Gonna go get it. You can download it any time, can't you? You promised to take me to that manga cafe today, didn't you? The one with the good selection? Ah, <sighs> what can I do for you, huh? You want to know if I've seen someone in a Mr. Navit costume? I think I would have noticed something like that, wouldn't I? Today is sure is hot. I'm roasting. Okay, salary man. Um, I don't know who else to talk to. I just have to talk to someone else around here. Oh yeah, there we go. You were so jealous of me just now, weren't you? Go on, admit it, Mon Monica. Oh, Mr. Navit, I think he's near the cell phone store. We've been over this. D maybe it's hiding somewhere. I'll ask around and see if there are any witnesses. Oh, am I going to each, like, each place? Yeah, I guess so. It's no use. It's long gone. I'll go back to the others. Yeah, I can't believe not one of you was able to catch it. Sorry, May. It's strange. It was, so, it was a dead end. <sighs> oh, bye, Nisi. Yeah, I've had enough of this bullshit storyline, too. You're taking this too hard. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we witnessed an urban legend with our own eyes. We'll catch it next time. Don't say that. You'll just get her even more worked up. <sighs> You're right. We can't give up now. One day I will reveal Mr. Navid's true identity. Wait up, wait up, May! I guess we're done for today. I gotta get up to work. See ya. I let May down again. I'm going home. I want to also. Why am I still here? Huh? You're... 
Ah, we've met before. The Synchronicity guy. Yep, that's me. That butterfly on your clothes. What butterfly? It looks like the hoodie butterfly I saw on the bulletin board. Are you with Hoodie? Did you accept my case? Bah! It's me, Vice President of the Golden Dawn. Da! My nickname must have made it difficult to guess it was me. The Golden Dawn was a British secret society founded in the 19th century. Even Alistair Crowley, known as the wickedest man in the world, was briefly a member. Their teachings centered on the Kabbalah, and their hierarchy was based on the Kabbalah's Tree of Life. In fact... Blah 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 blah! I'm sorry, Western history is a treasure trove of occult knowledge. Once I get talking about it, I just can't stop. I talked about it with May on the phone for more than six hours last week. Ugh. Poor May. You, were you looking for me? I thought you were bringing Mr. Navit. Hey. No, he was following me for some reason. Huh? Why would he follow you? Actually, seeing as I have synchronicity with you, maybe he'll follow me as well. I have to let May know. Thanks for the info. I'll be sure to send payment. You better make it double. <sighs> that was sure was a stupid case, but I somehow managed to complete it. Time to head back to Hoodie. And also end the episode. So, stranger danger. I had the feeling I was being watched. Hmm. Must have just imagined it. Hmm. <laughs> Hate. Hate everything about that. All right, so something didn't feel right at the time. It was vague, but I definitely felt it. It was like I'd gotten a glimpse of something extraordinary. At least dumb. Alright, so that's going to do it for today. I'm going to go cash this quest in, and in the next one we've got two more quests to do for the MSQ. Hopefully they won't be as dumb as that one. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.